plus future of industry means turning future-oriented ideas into reality with passion and together with our customers. With our projects, we prove that we can meet the challenges of the future and the wishes of our customers with innovative ideas. We take up new technologies with enthusiasm and convert them into markable solutions. Everything starts with the customer. Hello, my name is Frederik Berkmusjoos and I'm the proud CEO of Klostermans. Klostermans is a sixth generation machine building company originated in Flanders, in the east of Flanders, working with 250 people. Our mission is to connect people and technology to shape the future. We have, a decades, we have decades of history working with clients and partners, as for example, Siemens. One of these clients challenged us some months ago in bringing or creating a solution to bring an extreme flexible and modular packaging line or system to the market. If you look into the market, you see at one side the request of bringing large batches, high volumes, numerous throughput uh, of products uh, at one side. And at the other side, you have the request or you have the possibility of bringing a minimum order quantity one to the market. But in this, in between these two perspectives, you have the request of bringing some scalable batches of some quantities with high, very high flexibility to the market as well. Our vision to face these challenges are autonomous factories. These factories are powered by systems that can self-optimize, perform, self-adapt and learn from conditions in real time, all while running the entire production process. Traditional automation systems enable low-level processes to run without human intervention under normal conditions. But humans must still make decisions about more complex tasks. Making automation systems more autonomous is all about progressively handing over more manual tasks to the system. Does that sound like too much science fiction? I think there are big challenges today for which autonomy is essential. That was exactly the challenge, the customization challenge that our client asked for. It was a challenge of 90 days and proposed to nine competitors. And Siemens and Klostermans have been chosen to be one of these competitors. But after three days in the challenge, we discovered it was much more valuable to work together, not as sole competitors of just as suppliers or client of client supplier uh, relation, but as real partners in a co-creation track. Klostermans could bring their machine building capability and experience to the table, and Siemens could bring their experience and their fast, uh, their far developments in artificial intelligence and digital environment. This collaboration, this co-creation created a synergy what in the end brought the highest value to the client. We as Klostermans, we are still quite small company, 250 people, in relation with Siemens, a global multinational player, we never feel that difference. We never felt that difference in our collaboration. Collaboration was a collaboration of equal partners and Siemens developed a very flexible and agile way of working. We work together 24-7 throughout different time uh, regions, time zones and regions uh, all over the world. This also specifically in quite a challenging COVID environment. Together we created a simple solution but with an extreme intelligence in the background. In a way we try to simulate eyes, hands and brains of a human being in a digital and industrial environment. Hello, I am expert for autonomous systems at Siemens. Working with Frederick and team was very inspiring for me. And I would like to tell more about what we achieved in only 90 days 
while they participated in a strictly time box challenge for a solution for the packaging industry. You've heard from Nelly and Frederick about the challenges for kitting of consumer product goods. With a traditional approach, every new product or every new format requires reprogramming or retraining of the machine, and this is time consuming. If your kits or packages change very frequently, then it's simple non-economical to automize this process with the traditional approach. And the reality is that these jobs today are nearly 100% manual labor. But if you give to machine a chance to make decisions about their actions at runtime, then there's a way how to do this very flexible kitting without engineering effort at every format change over. The magic word here is autonomy. Autonomy means that the machines can take decisions at runtime according to their environment. With artificial intelligence, they can recognize where the components at the blister packs are, how they are oriented, and then compute on the fly how to grasp the components, hand over them, and place them into the end package. Of course, you have to tell your machine what it has to do. In other words, we have to describe the workflow. But unlike the traditional approach, you don't need to program all the sequences, calculate all the paths, you simply describe the workflow with reusable skills. This is the revolution for autonomy in the factory. And for a new product variant, you simply give its digital description to the machine. And that's all. You don't need to reprogram anything else. Product changeover takes seconds instead of hours with a traditional approach. Together with Clustermans, we demonstrated this approach, and I like to show you how it works in reality. Here, you see the digital twin of the machine. You can see two of the shelf robots equipped with suction cups, conveyor belt with blister packs, and components to be packed on the backside of the machine. What looks nicely packaged in stores is a big challenge for a machine. Let's look in detail how this production step works. For example, this shaving cream bottle has to be brought into the right orientation before it will be placed into the blister pack. It depends on its original orientation. Zero, one or two handovers are needed. Here you can see all these actions in animation. And all required actions will be taken in the machine without explicit programming because the machine notes itself and its environment and acts based on it, this model without further programming. All the elementary steps are machine skills and they are programmed once and are reusable across machines. To recognize position of all components and blister packs, we use low cost cameras like Intel RealSense. With AI algorithms, we can estimate all positions, poses and rotation based on the digital twin of the product. The recognition of the blister packs works in the same manner. And with this information, machine can pack the bottle into the blister pack. For the placing of the bottle, we need sensitive control or force stock control. But this action is simply another skill for the machine. As you see, the machine operates with different skills like grasp, pack, and the workflow describes how the end product has to be packed or assembled. How can you handle a machine with so many features? It's like a human. If you have a big task, for that you need to bring all your skills together. You need a brain. And this is what we developed as a new runtime for autonomous machines. Here you can see how it works in the real machine. To increase the productivity, you can distribute the tasks to many autonomous machines where every machine packs its component and build a production line. As you know, we want to have nice packages, and therefore we have to check at the end if all steps went well. For this reason, we provide a quality inspection, where we check if some parts are missing or have incorrect orientation. This will be checked against the digital twin of the product. And if you remember the biggest challenge, how fast the machine can switch to a new product, what takes hours with a traditional approach? Here's the answer. 
you simply give it to the machine a new product's digital twin. And the machine can pack the new format within seconds. In the video, you can see how operator provides this changeover through an easy to use user interface. As an expert for autonomous machines, I am very proud that we could find an answer to the challenges. And for me, it's exciting to pave the way for autonomous production. As Klosmans, we're very proud to be part of this track. And we brought the highest value to the client. Together with Siemens, we both believe that in the near future, this creates perspective and opportunities. And together, it was a real example of co-creation. With this concept of an autonomous kidding machine, it is possible to face all the challenges and be prepared for the future. With autonomous machine, it is possible for the first time to realize a highly flexible production for products with many varieties. New products can be launched on the market in less time. This also means there is time to focus on customer needs and discover new trends. The best projects can arise from innovation and co-creation. And if something like this is already possible today, then I'm very curious what the future will bring. Thank you.